Hello and welcome, I'm your Code McKean. So I've been writing my Game Dev Report newsletter for over a year now. I've written about a lot of stuff, for example, how developers keep just 42% of their Steam revenue. I wrote about what is the fast follow strategy and how one developer followed it to great success. I wrote about the really excellent Game UI database, this is a great resource. Then I wrote about how many sales you get from 10 million YouTube views. Another one on how a seemingly janky game made over $28 million or how game development is not a lottery. So yep, I've written about a lot of awesome stuff. You can sign up for free for the newsletter with the link in the description. Here, let me tell you how exactly do I find all these news and interesting articles. So here, how do I research for these reports? So really, the main source is me just randomly stumbling upon something interesting whilst watching YouTube. For me, I watch a lot of game dev or programming content. I usually have YouTube open on the second monitor while doing various tasks that don't require deep focus. So yep, whenever I'm doing something over here on the main monitor, as long as it's not something that requires a lot of focus, as long as I'm like remaking a health system for like the hundredth time, or if I'm making some kind of thumbnail or just doing some basic editing, I can usually do those things very simply over here on the main monitor whilst I have YouTube over there on the second monitor. So basically, I watch a lot of YouTube, and here are some great channels that I do watch. One great one is Game Maker Soulkit. I've been watching his channel for many years at this point. These are some excellently produced videos, and they will teach you quite a lot about game design. He covers all sorts of interesting problems on all sorts of interesting games and how those developers actually manage to solve those problems. For example, how Nintendo solved Zelda's open world problem, or the really awesome Nemesis system, how exactly does that one work? So if you want to learn about game design, this is a great resource. Next, Bite Me Games, this is another great channel. They're actively building their own games and they talk about all the numbers behind them. Get Them In is another excellent one if you want to learn some more high-level Unity stuff. These are some very niche tutorials on some very advanced topics. In terms of tech, Fireship is a great channel to keep up to date with everything that is coming out in terms of tech. So everything related to AI, machine learning, all the tons of JavaScript frameworks that are coming out every single day. The Primogen is another great one for programming specific stuff and game ranks for some general gaming videos. So yep, I watch a lot of YouTube and these would be some great channels that I watch. Then there are two great newsletters that I read every time. So there's Game Discover Co for info on how Steam and the industry as a whole is changing and how to market a game for excellent articles on Steam discoverability. If you want to find success, I highly recommend you follow both these newsletters. Here on Game Discover Co, they cover pretty much the charts of the latest games, the ones that are coming out and the ones that have come out. They do all kinds of analysis on Steam followers, wishlists, and so on. And this way they found some hidden gems, like for example, how Parcel Simulator suddenly hit 50,000 sales. Then on the other side, you've got HowToMarketAGame.com. So here you've got the blog, so this is the newsletter. Again, like I said, I highly recommend you follow this. Here Chris writes a lot about some very important stuff related to marketing and finding success, specifically on Steam. For example, the Crafty Building Strategy Simulation Buyer's Guide. If you don't know what are crafty building strategy simulation games, if not, then I highly recommend you go read this issue. Those are basically the games that are really hot on Steam. And if you want to find success, it is highly recommended that you actually try to make a game in one of these genres. I've made a bunch of videos with Chris that you can follow if you want to gain a ton of marketing knowledge. So yep, I read those two really excellent newsletters. And next, I check various blogs. So first, I check the Unity blog itself. A lot of people actually don't know Unity does have a blog. And some of these things, those are definitely very much just corpo speak, that kind of thing. For example, I'm talking about next level JS, I have no idea what this is. Scaling does really are, no idea what this is. So some things on the blog, those are very much meant for the more industry side of things. So probably not very useful for indie game developers. But other things, like for example, a postmortem on this game, Prison Boss Prohibition, or their really excellent free ebooks that they publish pretty much all the time. Here's a really excellent one on Unity 6 profiling tools. Then for example, breaking down the completely destructible world of deliver at all costs and a bunch more stuff. So yep, they cover quite a lot of interesting stuff in their blog. Next, I check GameDeveloper.com. This is what used to be called Gamasutra. It's been an excellent website with all sorts of interesting news for pretty much 20 years, I think, at this point. Another excellent one is GamesIndustry.biz. So if you want to keep up to date with the state of the industry in general, if so, then definitely watch this. You can check out all of the latest news. And for more tech-specific stuff, you've got Hacker News. Here, things are posted pretty much every single day, so this list changes constantly. You can find some really technical stuff like open SSH post quantum cryptography and also some really interesting stuff like here's one on 1 million screenshots and this one is basically a website that shows 1 million screenshots on all kinds of things. So yep, on Hacker News you can find really interesting stuff. The internet is really filled with all kinds of random things. Some of them are really interesting. And then of course I also check the subreddit so r slash gamedev which has lots of analysis and postmortem straight from the developers themselves and Unity 3D for more Unity specific stuff, mainly some really fun looking showcase. So Reddit is really excellent to see what developers themselves are posting. For example, here's a really interesting discussion on how the real cost of playing a video game is not money, it's time, or a really fascinating analysis on how someone analyzed every Steam game release in the day and here's what stood out. So you have lots of really interesting analysis and discussions over here on Reddit. And on the Unity 3D subreddit, this one also has lots of awesome stuff, mostly showcase so lots of cool visual stuff. For example, here's a really cool Unity tool, the Lattice modifier. Then this really awesome GIF from the game delivered at all costs that looks really gorgeous. Here's a really cool particle effect, a character being turned into leaves and so on. So you have lots of really fun looking showcases over here. Basically, I go through all of those either throughout the week or on Saturday, and then I pick four interesting things to write about and publish on Sunday. 
It's been almost a year since I started this newsletter. I hope you have found it a very interesting and informative addition to your weekly schedule. Thanks for reading. So yep, if you've been following the newsletter, I hope you've learned quite a lot from this. I certainly have enjoyed making all the research and writing all of these issues. I find that being forced to publish this on every single Sunday really helps me stay up to date. And I very much want to stay up to date because I don't want my skills to atrophy. So yep, if you yourself want to stay up to date, go ahead and check out all the resources that I use. Or really just sign up for free with newsletter. And I'll let you know on every Sunday all the interesting news that came out that week. And if you need some awesome low poly assets, there's an excellent humble bundle app right now. It's got all kinds of Cinti packs. I think it's been over a year since one of the Cinti packs was on a humble bundle. You can make tons of awesome games with these packs, like this awesome kaiju pack. This backpack would be perfect for a Titanfall inspired game. Or maybe build something spooky with this horror carnival. It also includes an interface pack, a nice animation pack. You've got some military, a simple town, a bunch of people, and tons more. As usual, it's a super deep discount, 97% off. So if just one of these looks interesting, then the home bundle is worth it. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.